हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑपरेटर्स प्रेसिडेंस सो बेसिकली वॉट वॉट डज दिस प्रेसिडेंस मीन्स प्रेसिडेंस मीन्स द ऑर्डर बेसिकली द ऑर्डर इन विच और ऑपरेटर्स आर बींग एग्जीक्यूटेड द स्टेट द ऑर्डर ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ स्टेटमेंट so what is this in the in the last video only i have uh, discussed with you guys that we are going to see the precedence in which the statement is been executed so let us th- let us see that thing only okay so right now i am on my vs code and previously we have talk about this precedence thing so let's say we have uh, writing this console dot log and if i wanted to ha- uh, like if i wanted to have let's say a plus no i am not see 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 i am writing wrong over the here is let's say i want to have 4 plus 5 and minus 6 and yeah i'm saving this thing and let's say i am running this thing plus see right now what answer i am getting is 3 okay i am getting 3 in my output okay so this is a very basic arithmetic operation plus and minus we can do it uh, you are if you want to solve this in any way the answer will be same that is 3 but the thing is the things get complicated when uh, we were talking about this let's say if i wanted to do something like this let's say i wanted to have division between these two numbers let's say 4 3 and cross again i am doing 4 over here okay let us see i am what i am getting in my output right now i am getting 1 in my output so how it is happening uh, let me show you by writing down something in my whiteboard so what we have uh, used we have used this console dot log and we have use uh, 12 by 3 by 4 so how this thing is being executed so see first of all this 12 by 3 by 4 will be considered as uh, let's say if 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 you try to write this thing in parenthesis so it will be considered as 12 by 3 will be get evaluated in the first place and after that this slash 4 is being evaluated so whatever the result for this thing let's say for this thing the uh, result is 4 so 4 by 4 the remaining 4 will get added to this and after that we are getting the result as 1 so in this way we are able to solve this let's say instead of writing this we will do one thing we, we, we will try to write parenthesis for the remaining one okay so we are taking taking This three three by four in the parenthesis. I am saving this. Now let us see what is the output. So right now you are able to see that my output is sixteen for this particular statement. Okay, and how this is working right now? Okay, so let me show you separately by doing this. See console dot log. First of all, uh, we will try to find out the answer for three by four. So three by four, I'm writing. I'm saving this thing, and let us see what I'm getting. I am getting zero point seven five in my output. Okay, so let us now check the answer for console. Uh, instead of console, I will write log and select the indentation. See, my the answer for three by four is zero point seven five. So right now I want twelve by 0.75 okay i am saving this thing and let us see what is my final output right now see my final output is 16 okay so how it is being calculated so first 3 by 4 is getting evaluated so the answer for that particular thing is 0.75 and after that what i am doing i am just dividing my 0.75 result with 12 Okay, so I am getting sixteen in output, so that's sort. Okay, the next thing in precedence that I can talk about is let's say if you want to find out the power of anything. 
okay so let's say if i am taking let's say a uh 2 power 3 first of all let me introduce you to this a particular operator if we are using two star between two uh, numbers then it will considered him like this 2 power 3 Two power three, right? So two power three is what? Eight, like two to the four to the eight. Okay, so we are getting eight in our output. Okay, but let's say if what? Uh, what if I do like this? Uh, two, uh, two three, and let's say plus six, twelve. Let's say, and now let us see what will be our uh, output. See, I'm getting twenty in my output, and how is it possible? So this same console dot log will be considered as below. I will show you first of all. See, this same console dot log will be considered like this. So first of all, my JavaScript will evaluate first calculation. Okay, so two power three is eight, and plus twelve twenty is been shown in my output. And what if I want And what if uh, I want to do like this? Let's say for first of all, I want the calculation twelve plus three to be happen, and later on, and later on, later on, I want it to have a power of this. So right now, what could be the possible output? See, according to according to JavaScript, what will happen? Twelve plus three, that is fifteen, will be calculated at first place, and after that, two to the power fifteen. a uh, to the power 15 and whatever the answer will uh, is there will be will be get printed out see i am getting 32768 in my output okay let's took some smaller number just in case okay so 3 plus 1 is 4 and to the power 4 is 16 of course so let me just clear my console and let us see once more time see i am getting 16 in the output so if you want the precedence to give you result as per your uh, uh, condition then you need to pass the parenthesis in that case otherwise what javascript will do it will just put the parenthesis on the results line by line from left to right it will uh, put the parenthesis by itself okay so that's the thing you need to take care of in javascript so in javascript Uh, if if I talk about the precedence of various operators, so uh, which operator is having the max to max precedence? First of all, there is one operator called this. This is a power operator. Okay, so this power operator has the high highest precedence in any JavaScript code. Okay, so next thing is uh, after that we have. this multiplication operator okay and after that we have uh, this division operator but how how will this work okay let me show you one another example with the help of uh, using these both operators together so let's say i have used here this power operator right and instead of this power i am using uh, again this thing Let's say we are taking positive numbers. I want my answer to be positive, so I am just dividing it by two. And right now, if I save, see, I have used three operators over here. I am just saving this thing. And right now, what I am getting in my output is one point five. And how I am able to get my one point five? Okay, so you can see this is four by two. Okay, so four by two is what? Two, 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 two power three is eight. Eight plus one nine. So this should be answer according to you, but that is not the case. So in this case, what happened? This two to the power two star star three will be getting calculated at the first place. Let's say if I am saving this, still I am getting the same results. Okay. So right now you my guide. Guys might have understand that this is working in this way. So if 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 I remove this thing, this one thing, and right now if I showed you, see, I should be getting zero point five. So that's the very answer. And after adding one, it will give us our normal result that is one point five. 
so these statement proves that the precedence of this power operator is higher than any other operator so division comes at what place second place so let's say i if i keep this plus over here and my division by 2 over here and let's say uh, we will put 2 over here and right now let us see what i am output i am getting is 8 so first of all this thing will get evaluated that 2 to the power 3 is of course 8 and after that 8 by 2 will be get evaluated 8 by 2 is what 4 and this 4 plus this 4 will be uh, get evaluated so that's why I'm getting 8 in my output so the precedence goes like this so first comes this star star after that uh, lesser than that we have what we have our division after that what we have we have our multiplication after that we have our plus minus that is subtraction addition whatever comes first so that's the thing so in this way this precedence thing work so let us do one thing let us try one more thing that is multiplication so let's say i am doing uh instead of this uh, okay let me just do one thing huh uh, let me just add plus over here and Instead of plus I will do one thing multiply by 3 like this now let us see what is our output see let me just clear it first so that we can see it properly see right now my output is 16 and how it is getting uh, evaluated see 2 to the power 3 is what 8 so after that this statement will get executed 2 by 8 by 2 it is it will give me what 4 4 3 zars see I will show you the statement by executing uh, it in my VS code. So what is my statement? First of all, let me just look it once. Okay, 4 plus 3. No issues. So it is like this. First of all. Okay, no issues. Yeah. I am here. So what we have. 4 plus 2 power 3 so we have 4 plus 2 pa power 3 and after that we have just divided by 2 and we are multiplying it by 4 I guess right okay so it is 2 by 3 actually okay so it is not 4 it is 3 no issues it is 3 so how this statement is being evaluated so see first of all what is happening 4 is remaining as it is plus 2 to the power 3 is getting evaluated which is 8 now what we have remaining is 2 and 3 so right now this statement will get executed according to the precedence so 8 by 2 is 4 and this plus 4 will remain as it is after that we have multiply by 3 so the next precedence uh will calculate this thing this calculation that is 12 and plus 4 will remain at its place so 12 plus 4 is 16 okay so in this way this particular statement is being evaluated so that's the precedence things that you need to take on care of whenever you are working with javascript code and i will suggest you guys to work with parentheses more so that you you are not getting the this precedence error in your calculation and it is more preferred whenever you are writing the code in production the parentheses are being more prepared by coders okay so that's set for today's video i hope you guys have gotten the idea how this precedence is working in javascript and i will see you guys in next upcoming videos until then goodbye